this week is a huge week for you. Yes. Because you have this incredible film on Netflix that just I got do, released. I do, I do. And I have to say I watched uh, only like the first 20 minutes and I'm going to go into it. But I didn't know, I knew when you were on production on it, I didn't know what a major role it was for you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Because it was like, I, and then I started watching, I was like, this whole thing is is your character, you know, like... Yeah. And I can't wait to finish it because I'm sure there's some crazy twists. Well, it. It, it does. It has some crazy twists. So tell us the name of it just so people know. Um, can it's watch uh, it Home is Where the Killer Is, exactly how it yeah. sounds. <laughs> <laughs> it used to be No Place Like Home. Right. Sounds like a little, you know. Right. Ooh, no mm-hmm. Place Like Home. Yeah. Um, yeah, that kind of feeling. Home um, is Where the Killer Is. Home is Where the Killer Is, yeah. I, I think it also is it on Amazon. I was excited that it actually got on Netflix. I was yeah, I think it's the best platform. I mean, yeah. the most people, almost everybody has Netflix, so it's the most accessible. Yes. Um, but the production of it, how, what? I'm just more. This is more nerd video kind of <laughs> film production <laughs> curiosity I have. But like, how long was the shoot? How many weeks? Two or? weeks. That was a two. Two weeks. weeks. Two week shot. Yeah, it was shoot. It was. Um, um, how and, and, you shoot a feature in two weeks? You can do so many things in two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> wow. It's crazy. You know, it's, it was six days we shot, and then we get one day off. Mm-hmm. So you just, you do a lot in mm-hmm. a day, which is still less than what I do on a soap opera. Well, that, that's a great <laughs> transition because, I, and I want you to tell me more about the film before we transition to that. But I, um, I just am... Um, blown away with the speed of productions now with, with shooting digitally and some other things and um, and I guess so much of the, I guess it's more possible because so much was based and shot in that one home or location or I don't know yes. if it was shot in the studio too or if it was on a particular home like a real home we sh- basically went in on I think on a we shot out everything outside, I think, for the first three days, and then everything else was pretty much mm-hmm. there. And then the last day we shot in the a studio for the hospital staff. Yeah. And so it was, but yeah, I mean, it was quick, and but I, it was actually slow for me. This Full Exposure Podcast episode has been made possible through the support of Metro Health, University of Michigan Health, and Dr. Peter Hahn who believe that creativity and the arts are essential to a rich, healthy, and fulfilling life.